Sadia Aden Mohammed, the Form 1 student at Ngara Girls High School, reported to have gone missing last week, but found was running away from bullying by fellow students. This is according to the girl's uncle, who says the girl, though is traumatized, is safe and that she will continue to receive counseling before a decision is made on whether to transfer her to another school or not. Cecilia Wakesho has the details. Just a day after Form 1 student Sadia Eden of Ngara Girls went missing last week was found in unclear circumstances in Mombasa. Her relatives will visit Directorate of Criminal Investigations in Pangani where they continued with interrogation on what they have so far gathered about her brief disappearance. Some girl said that uh, uh, she skipped out of school, she ran away out of school on Tuesday evening through a small gate manned by a security personnel but uh, the security guy by the time that she was getting out uh, he was not there and uh, when she got out of school she boarded a motorbike uh, to SGR. According to her uncle Sadia who was forced to spend her Tuesday night at the Standard Gauge Railway in Nairobi before being assisted by well wishers to get to Mombasa on Wednesday the girl found herself in a dilemma as she couldn't go back home after escaping from school. The uncle says she had allegedly alerted the school principal that she was being bullied by her fellow students, but she was denied permission to go home. Uh, unfortunately, when she, res, uh, when she uh, reported the matter to the administration, the administration now suspended only one student. The rest of the group remained. That was before midterm. Now, after she has gone back to school after midterm, then the rest of the group marched on her. And that is when she resided now, the environment is too hostile. The management of Ngara Girls High School has not been friendly to the media. Efforts to unravel the puzzle surrounding the disappearance of Sadia, who hails from Garissa County, have been futile, as the school principal cannot be reached. On Tuesday and Monday, uh, prior to Tuesday, is the day that she has gone back to school and she has been taken by the parents. So she could not, she, she didn't have the audacity and uh, uh, the sense to come back to the parents and tell them that, you see, this is what is happening in the school. While in real sense, she has not discussed that in the portal that she was, in, uh, she was at home for the midterm. We are seeing there is some fishy things going on here that we were not even allowed to enter the school compound. Sadia, who is now under the care of her relatives here in Nairobi, is expected to receive counseling before she resumes school. But several questions remain unanswered, like how she chose to escape to Mombasa and not any other town, who aided her escape. Also, why did the woman who housed her in Mombasa wait until the news of the girl was told on TV to report to the police? Questions that can only be answered by the investigators, the girls' guardians, as well as the management of Ngara Girls High School. Cecilia Kesho, Kate News. To health issues, the parliamentary